they leave the room the scent stays there and people are like oh what's that smell so i find that they layer very well together welcome back to another brand new video today's video is going to be a perfume video my perfume collection i have always loved scents i used to get those perfume oils in secondary school all the time i've always loved smelling good but over the last two years there about i have really started investing in designer perfumes really good quality perfumes and i absolutely love it so today we're gonna go through my collection what i have i have right now one two three four five six seven seven perfumes um and then i have one empty that i really really like i have my tablet i'm gonna be going through like the notes of the perfume i'm not really a big perfume connoisseur like i don't know that much about it but i can pinpoint certain types of scents just from the spray sometimes especially if it's something that i really like i really really love vanilla coconutty with a slight hint of musk um, scent I don't super love floral scents they're okay I like them but I usually gravi gravitate towards more like vanilla musky scents so we're gonna go to Fragrantica if you're brand new here my name is Melia I create lifestyle content so definitely hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and, and everything that I share in this video I will also try to see if I can find links for them and I will link them down below. These are going to be affiliate links. So please be that the first scent that I absolutely love. And I re-bought this was <laughs> Jessica Simpson Fancy Forever. I really, really love this perfume. This, hands down, is one of my favorite scents. It's a celebrity scent, but I really love the balance in there. It has like a nice earthy but sweet but vanilla but musky musky note to it and i repurchased this that's how much i liked it this is the only perfume that i've repurchased repurchased but let's go through the notes of this okay so this perfume has the mina coils are vanilla it's sweet it's fruity it's musky it's floral it's powdery it has amber it has a slight citrus scent to it it is really really good i when I first tried this perfume, I, my intention was not to buy it. It was the sales associate just like, I know what you're going to like. Try this out. And initially I was like, eh, I don't really like it. But then it was a good price. And so I bought it and I have repurchased it. The, the packaging is really, really sexy. It's beautiful. It has this really nice um, crystals on the top here, which makes it a bit more fancier. This is my first one. I bought this last year and I repurchased it. Uh, maybe around January there about probably maybe December it smells really really good I would hands down if you're trying to start off with a perfume and you love like powdery vanilla musky scents and it's very subtle but when you leave the room the scent stays there and people are like oh what's that smell I would highly recommend this one definitely check this out hands down this is one of my favorite scents the next scent that i like is oscar de la renta alibi and you will notice a pattern with the main accords of those perfumes because that is my go-to it is sweet it is powdery it has citrus it's aquatic it's floral it's musky it has vanilla and it has a nice slight warm spiciness to it i really really like the spiciness of perfumes this perfume i love this this is more of like a fancy scent to me i find like i would not wear this every single day but i'll wear this if i'm going out at night it's really really good at night um i will wear it during the daytime as well but i kind of find that it's more of a nighttime scent and the bottle the packaging is really cute i like the packaging it's very fancy very simple but it has this nice classiness to it as well and this one i don't remember how much i purchased this for but I will see if I can find this online for you guys. I believe they do have like different variations of it, but this one, love it. What I like to do sometimes, if I want to smell like really extra, I would mix this and I would layer this and the Forever Fancy together and I find that it has a nice 
um, combination especially because the main accords are similar so they work very well together and it kind of like elevates that extra fanciness and when I like to layer my perfumes I usually get like oh, what are you wearing and I'm like I can't tell you because it's a mixture <laughs> so it's kind of like me creating my own scent but these two I find that they layer very well together next up we have Giorgio Armani My Way this scent, I'm almost out of it. I don't think I'm going to rebuy this. It was not really my favorite. I have had this for about 15 months, a year plus. Um, so I kind of want to like go through it already because it's not my favorite. I like the package and I love the little blue top here. I find that this is this gives it like a really nice accent and it has the gold on there. It smells good, but it's too floral for me. And I'm not really a floral scent. I don't really love floral scents. I like them, but they're not my go-to. And I think that is why I don't wear this often. Um, I, sometimes I forgot that it existed, like it was there. And I would have to like, oh, let me wear this today. I got this in a set with the travel size as well. So I went for the travel size and I still have uh, a little bit maybe about I would say maybe about five ways in this one I'm probably gonna go, try to go through these out maybe wear this for the rest of the month and then like finish with that because it's not my favorite but this has like white floral tuberose citrus and it has a vanilla in there I think the vanilla part of it is what kind of drew me to it the first time I tested this since I tested it in a Sephora order when they send you like the little ex the little sample bottles i think i chose like a perfume and i received this in a sample and initially i liked it but then when i received the actual bottle i did not like it that much it was okay but it was not my favorite at all and so yeah i would not recommend this unless you're someone who loves floral scents unlike myself i would recommend it because it smells really really good it doesn't smell bad it smells really good but it's just too floral for me and that's not my go-to. The next scent is an empty. This was one of my favorite scents. It was my girl boss scent. This scent is very powerful, not for the faint of heart. It's very, very strong. It has a really nice deep spiciness to it and I like that. Um, but one drop, a one spritz can go a long long way because it's going to be very 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 overpowering if you wear this in a closed environment it can be a lot I find that it worked better at night because it was more cooler um, or if you're in somewhere that's very seasonal like maybe in the US or wherever like right now it's winter or fall I'm not sure what's going on in the weather I don't know I don't know season I think it's winter right now I think that this would work better in a cooler environment so it works really well at night but in the daytime if it's really hot like where I am the heat on my body and this can become way too overpowering so when I used to wear this I would wear like just one spray and it would last the entire day like this would last the entire day it would stay in my clothes until the next wash day and it's very 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 strong this is very it has amber it's woody it has a like a balsamic it's citrusy it's sweet it's spicy and it has vanilla you can't really smell the vanilla i find that you smell more so of the spiciness in there but then again perfumes work differently on different body chemistries so on me for example it might smell good but on someone else it might not smell very well or vice versa but this one is the Hermes Elixir de Merveille I really like this perfume I tested this perfume a couple of years ago in Paris and I really loved it and I searched very high and low for it here until I finally found it I think maybe last year and I just finished it has like a little drop in here still but I finished this like maybe around December last year. But I like the bottle. I like the orange bottle. So I use this like a, an ornament. <laughs> I put this on my um, side table. I just find that it gives like a nice pop of color. Because I have a lot of blue tones in my living room. And so the orange gives it like a nice pop. Or nice, you know, balance, contrast. But this is, if you're looking for perfume that is, if you love warm, spicy, citrusy amber scent and it works very well if your body chemistry and you're looking for a perfume that can make you feel like boss sophisticated boss if that makes sense 
I would recommend this one for sure, hands down. I would not repurchase this though because I kind of feel like I wore it for, this lasted me a very long time because it was very strong and I could not wear like free sprays, it's like one and that's it. So it lasted me a very long time and I can still smell it. So like the scent is just so robust, but I don't think I would re repurchase this because I, I don't know, I kind of, I'm over it. But I may get another Hermes one, but I am currently looking at the Twilly. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of like in between with it, but I'm not entirely sure yet. And I'm also, I tested out the, the is it Muggler? Muggler Angel in the pink star bottle. Smells amazing, but it's really, really strong. It reminded me a little bit more of this one in terms of like the strength of it. I had like a swatch and it lasted a whole month and eventually I kind of got sick of it so I'm still looking for that next boss sophisticated boss perfume for myself I have not found one yet um, but for now we're using what we have but if you're looking for something highly recommend this one if you're someone who can tolerate like that type of scent because it trust me it is bold it is bold like people are going to smell this and it might be a little bit too overpowering if you're wearing this in the office especially in like a small enclosed space so take that in mind another scent that kind of gives like this bold sophisticated boss um, vibe I find is the Carolina Herrera 212 VIP Rosé this scent is also super bold and strong and you cannot wear too much of it because it is just it's just like pow you know so I've had this for I still have like a good 20 ways in this because you can't use too much of it two spritz and that's it the Hermes one is a bit stronger than it but this is also very strong when I wear this people notice and they tell me oh my god your perfume is very strong so I try my best not to wear this at the office but I'll wear it like outside it is very fruity it's floral it's champagne it's musky it's sweet it's woody, it's citrus, and it's powdery. I love the powdery and the um, muskiness of it, but it is very, very, very sweet, um, like sugar sweet, and I'm not really a fan of that either. But if you're someone who loves that type of scent, then you can probably go for it. Again, different body chemistry. So on my body, it might be very overpowering, but on you, it might not be, it might be a bit more subtle. So. I highly recommend this if you're looking for again a sophisticated very like bold perfume but bold scent and if you're going to wear this at the office then don't go more than two sprays and do it very lightly don't just like spray like very light sprays goes a long way and this lasts this lasts when I'm going to do my laundry maybe five days after I wear this the scent is still there and that's why I find that when it comes to buying perfumes, it can be a bit pricey, but I find that if you get perfumes that are long lasting, it is worth it because you don't have to put too much. Just like one, two spritz, and then it will go a long way. And this, it smells really, really good. Like the scent stays all over. The cup is really cute. It's like magnetic. I like this packaging. Very chic, very classy. I love that about it. But Again, remember that this scent is a little bit on the overpowering side. Very, 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 very sweet. Um, so bear that in mind if you're someone who does not like like super, super, super sweet scent. Okay, the next scent, this is the newest one that I have. I actually got this as a gift from my sales associate. Let's give it to me like as a gift. My birthday was around like two days before. But this is the Giorgio Armani C. This is the original one. They do have variations of it, but I really like the scent. It's very woody and vanilla, which are my top notes. I love vanilla and woody scents. And I think that's why it's just like, it's very subtle, very light, but still a little bit bold. I wear this at the office. Ugh, it smells really, really good. And it has this, there's something in there that kind of like balances out. Like you can't smell the vanilla and woodiness, but it's more of like a citrusy sweetness like a sweet grapefruit 
but I really really like this like a soft spiciness to it so the notes on this or the main accords on this are woody vanilla aromatic soft spicy fruity green floral patchouli rose and earthy which I think is a really nice balance or nice combination and I find that this is I would definitely buy the um, bigger bottle of this I think I'm gonna probably get the bigger bottle of this because I love this I really really like this and I find that this was like a really great addition to my um, collection I have tested this before but I don't know why I never really liked it or I never really grabbed it towards it until I actually started wearing it and I found that it really was like oh I, I actually like this um, so I would say if you want to buy perfumes I would highly recommend that you try and get like a sample first what I like to do is to spray it on my hands while I'm in the store and see how I react to it because sometimes I have sprayed perfumes and I wanted to like take a shower afterwards because it was just a no um, so I don't if I'm gonna invest in the perfume I would not recommend investing in a perfume um, like spray it on a paper spray it on your skin and see how that works with you and then decide if you really like it and then invest from there in the bigger countries you could probably get a sample from like Sephora or I don't know any other fragrance store but um, here we don't really get samples like that um, so what I do, I spray it on my skin and then I see how it works for the day. And then if I like it, then I'm going to go back for it. So, because scents are expensive, they're costly. And to me, they're kind of like an investment, like a self-care investment. And you want to make sure that you buy a perfume that is going to work with your body chemistry. Because you do not want to buy something and then you do not like it. Because that has happened to me and that's what my next scent is going to be about. But I recommend this one for sure. Giorgio Armani C. Love this. I would definitely buy the bigger, bigger size of this for sure. Okay, so the perfume that's my least favorite. I still wear it. I like it. But honestly, I give it a 5 out of 10. Because I just there's just something about this that I, I don't really like. Chloe Naturel. This is a... I like the packaging of this. And I think this was like... I never... I tested this once in the store. And I bought it like at the same time and to be quite honest I regret doing that and I don't do that anymore but this perfume is very green and I do not like that at all it's too green too fresh even though it has other colors like it has rose it has citrus it has floral um, woody powdery fruity sweet green and fresh what stands out the most in this for me is the greenness the freshness and the, uh, the the rose i do not like rose scented perfumes at all and i learned this from this i learned that i hate rose scented perfumes um i don't know something about it's just like way too it's just way too i don't know what it is but i hate it um but i still use this i am almost out of it i'm not gonna rebuy this because it was one of those purchases that i i literally regret buying but it smells good. If you're someone who loves these main accords, then this might work for you. But I just find on me, it's just way too... The mixture of the greenness and the rose is a bit too overpowering for me. And I don't like that at all. I find like it doesn't blend properly. And it doesn't work in my body chemistry at all. Even if I don't spray it on me and I spray it like in the air, I still hate it. So <laughs> I would not recommend this if you're someone who, who does not like... Um, this type of scent but if you do then I would recommend it it smells good but just not my vibe at all and again that's why I think it's ideal to like really understand what type of scents works with your body chemistry for me again it's the vanilla the powdery the musky the woody the oofy and the very 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 light floral um, and citrusy sometimes but rose sweet fruity very very floral mm -mm, does not work for me at all so you really have to like kind of test them out sometimes to see what works with you and what you like or what you enjoy to find your type of scent like your base but it might take some time but it's gonna save you a lot of coins for sure 
next up is another empty i didn't even realize it was empty oh okay i guess it's then is ariana grande um thank you next i really like this perfume i bought this after i bought the cloud i loved the cloud it was hands down one of my favorite perfumes they have not received it again here at the duty free store so i have not been able to repurchase it but i picked up this one after and i absolutely love this i am definitely gonna rebuy this if they have another if they have again because what i find sometimes is that we will get stuff here on a small island and then we wouldn't get them anymore but this scent is very very it's sweet but it has coconut fruity vanilla and almond all my favorite things minus the fruity the fruitiness in there is not very although the when I first started wearing this, someone asked me, I'm smelling raspberries, I'm smelling like, I'm smelling food. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not eating anything, it's my perfume. But I guess on different persons, it might, different accords might stand out more. Or also your nose might pick up something different. But on me, when I spray this, I do smell the fruitiness, but it's not very strong. And I think because it has a lot more of the vanilla, the coconut, and the powdery base, it kind of like masks the fruitiness a little bit so i think that that works for me because i'm not really a fruity or super fruity scent perfume girl but again it depends on the type of fruit in there so in this one let's see what's in this one it has um macaroons musk raspberry oh right it has raspberry okay and pear but in the georgia Armani, my way the fruits might be different which is why I don't really like it but this one has a really nice balance this is a very in celebrity perfumes this and the Jessica Simpson surprisingly my favorite scents of all time would have would be those two scents not of all time but lately I would say would be those two scents I find that um, they did very very well in the combinations and I would definitely repurchase those two again. Like I'll repurchase this, I'll repurchase the cloud. The cloud is kind of similar to that, minus the fruitiness. I really, really love the cloud. It's really good. It works like my body chemistry. It works hands down perfectly with me. And when I wore that scent, like everyone would ask, like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? And I have like two of my colleagues who bought this perfume because I was wearing it because it smells really, really, really good. But Ariana Grande, thank you next. Highly recommend it. Very inexpensive if you want to start off with a scent that smells really good and you love this type of accords. I would highly recommend this one as well. Speaking of Ariana Grande, but yesterday I passed by, there's this like scented perfume oil store and I asked him, do you have Baccarat Rouge? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you do? I was so surprised. <laughs> I don't know why I was expecting him not to have it. I think because it's more of like a very expensive perfume. And when I bought My Way, I remember I was watching a video by Jeremy Fragrance and he was talking about a scent that would replicate Baccarat Rouge. And he didn't say which scent, but he said the, he showed the bottle and I knew the bottle and it was Ariana Grande Cloud. So yesterday I passed by, I, I asked for this and I tested it out. This is a spray, like a refillable spray bottle. And guess what? It smelled exactly like the Cloud, exactly. I'm wearing it right now. It smells so good. The coconut and the vanilla is just like a very nice combination. But let's see what the cards for that heart is. I never looked it up never looked it up it was just like a very high perfume in the blogger world and there was no way in hell i'm about to spend 300 us on the perfume under no circumstance whatsoever but let's see okay so this is the Bacar Rouge 540 and this one it's woody it's amber it's spicy um aromatic metallic white floral and animalic which is weird because the ariana grande cloud doesn't have any of those any of those um accords at all let's see but they strangely smell the same cloud is sweet latonic vanilla coconut and musky and the bahar rouge 540 is not any of those scents it's woody it's amber warm spicy 
floral, animal, aromatic, metallic, white floral, and animalic. Which makes me wonder why do they smell the same? Maybe he gave me Ariana Grande in the cloud. I don't know. But word on the street is they smell the same. I didn't say it. I'm not a perfume connoisseur, a perfume connoisseur said so. But I highly, I really like the scent. I find that it's just this scent that, it's like a warm hug. And I think that I'm going to enjoy wearing this. I'm going to wear this this week. This is going to be my scent for the week. And um, yeah. So next up we have, oh, this is my final perfume. Okay, so my last scent is the Givachi Latadi. This is a very elegant perfume. I bought this at the airport in the UK. It's very bold, sophisticated, feminine, elegant. Love this. The main accords in this is very, um, it's warm, spicy. You can smell the spiciness in there and I like that. Uh, white floral doesn't smell too floral woody you can definitely pick up the woody scent in there tuberose citrus patchouli earth powdery and animalic you can't really sense or smell the powderness it's very light but i find that the spiciness is what stands out the most for me and i absolutely love this scent this would be my new um sophisticated boss perfume the packaging is just like so chic like this is just like regal love the deep red the deep red packaging and i think that this might not be for the faint-hearted it reminds me a little bit of the Hermes elixir de mauvais like the the boldness of it so if you're someone who's not who does not like you don't have like a very bold confident personality it might be a bit too much for you if you're very like girly girly girly, girly like very you know introverted um flirty i'm not sure how to explain it but this is more for someone who's serious <laughs> works really really well at night i think that it works better at night than the daytime or or it might work better in a cooler climate than a um very warm climate but i do wear this in the office which is very easy it's very easy and cool so it works well but i love this scent this is just like oh, it smells so good so 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 good this is like a monday scent like on a monday when you're about to go to the office and you want to feel like i'm ready for business hands down that is it elegant so that is it for my perfume collection i am probably most likely gonna get some more if i know myself very well but i'm trying to like empty out some fills before i buy new ones i'm probably gonna replace the arena grande cloud with something else and also when I'm done with the Amani My Way and the Hermes, I will replace those two and I will share with you guys what I got to replace them. But so far, there's not anything on my re actually there's one perfume on my radar. I did test it out. Um, but I'm not sure if I really want to get it yet. And that was the Muggler Angel one, the pink one. It smells really, 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 really bold, but I'm not sure if I want another bold perfume. I want something that can be, that kind of like replaces the Ariana Grande one, like an everyday scent that I can wear. Um, something nice and flirty and floral, but very light, light, light floral. So I'm not sure what yet, but I'll show you. I'll let you guys know what I get, but that is my perfume collection. Do you have any of those scents? Would you like to see more perfume videos? and um if you want to buy one of those which one would it be like which one do you think you would easier gravitate towards let us know in the comment section and if you want to see more content definitely hit the subscribe button and check out this video right here or this video right there peace out. bye